What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another mail day. Today, we're going to be opening some goodies from the one and only Trolls and Toads. Fittingly so, they're named Troll and Toad because I think they like to troll people with the condition that they put their cards in, at least on their site, and put up near mint, but uh, most like you, likely you'll get it back in two pieces <laughs> so they have a very loose definition of near mint for some of their cards that being said let's see if we can frickety crack this open making it too cringy oh i'm an idiot there's a freaking tab so If I'm not mistaken, the five cards? I love how they just throw them in one top loader, no matter how many cards it is. I already see some friggin' play wear on this one. Actually, they didn't put it in the top loader. It's even worse. <laughs> so, I guess we're gonna go... We'll go from the back. And this one is... Oh, sweet, alrighty. One of my faves. I loved this. This one wasn't friggin' edge worn on the top there. But this is one of the ones I was most excited about. Trident Dragion. What is a Dragion? Do you guys know? I don't. Uh, again, usually don't order from Troll and Toad expecting near mint. Um. So this is actually pretty good. The back is in a pretty good condition, just that long line at the bottom there. Not so much like there's any scratches. You got a little bit of wear up there, but very minimal. I'm actually very happy with this. Nice. Okay. Oh, shucks. Let's drop that one. All right, so this is our next one here. I'm gonna try to guess. I can't even remember what I got. And I guess it's... Thunder Unicorn. Oh, no. It's Jack's Knight. I forgot. I forgot I bought another one of these. Because this one's... I'm happy. I'm happy I got... I got uh, Ruxin's. Because it was much nicer. Shout out Ruxin. This one, as you can see, is... Troll and Toad near mint. So it's got some nice edge wear on it. Some nice frilling up top there. Can't really see that much on the back, so that's nice. Okay. That'll be up there in the trade binder, that's for sure. Okay. Again, I got that one as a backup because... I didn't trust Ruxin's turkey would make it here. I might have thought it might have been shot down. It was taking so long. Okay, so right, you already tell right off the bat here. You got some nice edgeware. And just the whole card looks kind of wavy. It's kind of like water damaged up near the top. That's unfortunate. Oh, Cyberblader. Nice. Ooh. How shitty that is up top there. I might even like, usually I don't mention anything to them, but for that, I might even just say like, you know, just send it back. Like that's, I'm not sure if I, try, I picked it up light plate. No, definitely near mint. That's just straight bend on the edge there. So that's unfortunate. I mean, the rest of the card looks pretty clean from the front, but again, looks kind of like water damaged on, on the top there. That blows. Um, again, very cheap, but a nice cyber blader. Ruined. Okay. So this one is a lightning unicorn? There it is. Or thunder unicorn. And that's the only one I needed. Out of 
Look at those guys. Got some people coming in here. It's going to get loud soon. But uh, these were the, um, one of the Nordic God guys. <laughs> And with my dogs going off in the background, uh, last but not least, Blackwing Armor Master, which actually looks in pretty darn good condition. It might be Europrint. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. It's definitely finished off with the best. Pretty awesome. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, as you can hear. I got some buffoons walking in. I don't even know if I'm posting this, so apologies for the shoddiness. Mostly just film my record my now recordings to make sure everything's come in properly. Damn it. There we go. Got some Umbrella Academy going on in the background. Can't like nobody's watching. Okay, sweet. So this is the the last piece I needed for my XYZ, those guys, and a first edition, first stream of destruction. Minty condition, too. Also minty. Oh, sick. That's awesome. It's a nice little throw in. Sweet. I don't even have one of these. That's cool. You don't usually collect Jap stuff, but that artwork I actually don't have, and yeah, I don't have something with the old school Japanese style. Sick. That's awesome. I'll take it. And what we want for Armatile Chaos Phantom. First edition. These are great sleeves. They're like rigid, but not rigid. Swaggy. It's dope. Thank you very much, Justin Yu-Gi-Oh!